Hi everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. <clears throat> Today, I've never tried this before, so I'm going to attempt to make the uh, a pie crust very similar to the 100 year old pie crust that came from Nikki's grandmother. It's almost the same. I'm going to try to make it in a mixer. I've already got my three cups of flour, teaspoon and a half of sugar, of um, salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder in there, and I uh, mixed it. You know, turned this on for a few minutes and got it mixed real well. So that's three cups of flour. And this is where this differs a little bit. I'm not just using shortening or lard. This is one stick of butter that I cubed up. And I put it in the freezer to get it good and cold. And this is shortening. And it's yellow because it's butter, butter flavor. And I froze it too. Now, I'm going to turn this on and I'm just going to put it, whoop, put it on stir. You can hear that beater <laughs> hitting those frozen cubes of uh, butter and shortening. And we're going to let this mix maybe two minutes. Maybe. When I start to see a little disintegration of the the fats, then we'll stop. I'm going to turn it off and look at it because I have not done this before. And I don't want to mess it up. And I don't think that's good enough yet. So let's continue on. Sorry about that. Alright, it's been going another minute or so. It shouldn't take but a minute or so, actually. Alright, you see it's starting to break up. And the flour is, um, it's, it's taking on a damp look. Some of the butter's not all broken up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, some of it is. So at this point, we're going to start adding the ice water. Now the ice water is, um, it's going to be about a cup. And I added to that cup um, before the cup got full, I added a little less than a tablespoon of, of vinegar. So we've got cold water here. Now the recipe I saw added all the water, well not all of it, but I mean they added it at one time with the mixer off. So I'm going to put almost all of it in there. Turn the mixer on.
and we're not going to let it get completely um, mixed up. Let me see what this looks like. I think it needs all the water. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of it in there. That's enough. Now, I'm going to cut you off while I get my, um, this is what you're looking for right here. It's not totally mixed, but it's, um, you can tell that it, it's coming together. I'm going to turn you off and get my uh, pastry cloth. And that's my oven going off. And then I'll bring you back. All right, I got my pastry cloth out. I'm just going to pour this dough out on the cloth. I've already um, floured it. Put this up. And I'm going to draw it together. You can still see chunks of butter in it, and that is good. Can you see? No, you can't. There we go. There we go. I'm going to flatten this out. See those big old chunks of butter? Put a little bit of flour on the top. I actually, I want to cut this in half. Right now I can't find my pastry. bench press. Well, let's get it right here. I'm going to put one of these halves. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for right now. I'm going to set it aside. Alright. So here we go. I can't see. I can't see if you can see. Start rolling it out. And I'm going to fold it over on itself. I was cutting the apples up here earlier. Alright, I'm going to fold it over on itself. And Start again. I'm not being too careful because I'm going to fold it over again. Probably could have used a little bit more water, guys. But we're going to, we're going with it anyway. All right, I'll tell you, I'm not going to make you watch me roll this out. I'll be back when, when the rolling's done. All right, guys, I got this rolled out. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be round. As long as it fits in the pie plate. And what I'm going to do is take my rolling pin... and roll this dough up on it. Take my pie plate oop 
daisy and just let it roll out over it. Now, it's not on straight. So what? So what? First thing you're going to do is, without stretching it, lift up the pie crust and get it into the corners of the pie plate. Now you're going to have some extra. Extra on one side, not enough on the other. So you're going to borrow. And that's what we're doing. We're borrowing from the long side and attaching to the short side. When this pie is baked, nobody's going to know the difference. All right. Still got a long side right here. And I'm just going to add some more to this right here. All right, I'm going to set this aside for a minute. There's another kind of short side. I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to roll up this um, pastry cloth because I don't want it to get real dirty. I still got to roll out the, uh, the top crust. I'm just going to fold it up like that and put this pie shell somewhere else. All right, now I've got some apples and I threw some cherries in there. And this is nothing but sugar, about a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, I put a couple of teaspoons of tablespoons actually of um, flour in here and some cherries and these cherries I uh, they're kind of a tart little cherry I'm going to let these uh, Get them all mixed up real good. I'm going to let them sit for, I don't know, maybe maybe five minutes. Just time enough for everything to absorb. And I didn't put a whole lot of cherries because you only want... Um, it's up to you, really. It's up to you, but I just thought it would be nice to have a cherry or two or three in each bite rather than have it just full of cherries and the kind of cherries you use is up to you they sell tart cherries that are already pitted in the grocery stores and they sell sweet also so while this sits and marries and that's one I knew it would be some juice in here that's why I added the two tablespoons of flour and if I said teaspoons earlier I was I'm correcting myself now it's tablespoons so after this sits of five minutes or so we'll be back again we're back now before I put the the um, apples and cherries into this pie shell I'm going to baste the bottom of it with just a beaten egg. It, as it cooks, it, it makes a barrier so that the bottom crust doesn't get soggy. And 
and I'm going to save the rest of this for the top of the crust. All right, my apples, they've all turned brown, but the cherries are in there, so I hope I cut enough apples. It doesn't look like I did. I thought I did. I think I did seven apples. We'll see. Spread those cherries out. I tasted the um, liquid just to make sure that I had had enough sugar and uh, cinnamon in here. And it sure seemed like enough to me, although it doesn't seem like there's enough apples. And another trick is when you put your apples in your pie shell, make sure that none of them are, I'm going to show you, make sure none of them are turned up. These are pretty thin, but make sure none of them are turned up like that because that will cause uh, a gap between, a lot of times it will, a gap between the um, pie shell, top pie shell and the apples. Sometimes I've had it happen to me. I'll have a gap that big cut down into it and I finally get to the apples. I'm going to pour a little bit of this juice in here, but not all of it. There we go. Now, I'm going to cut you off again. And I'm going to roll out the bottom crust, and then we'll be back. All right. We're back. I got my top crust rolled out and rolled onto the bottom crust, the top of the pie. And I was a little short here, so I patched. I'm a little long here, so I'm going to take it off. Right here. You kind of feel as you go around. All right. Now all you're going to do is top roll the, put the top crust under the bottom crust all the way around. much over here. I'm going to pull it off. Just lift it like that and roll it under. I've preheated my oven to um, 425 because I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes at 425. Then I'm going to cut it down to 375. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to bake anywhere from 30 to 40 more minutes. All right. So now, you're just going to make sure you got a little ridge all the way around. And then just do this to just, that's all you're going to do to get your um, crimping. You 
You can make them as close together or as far apart as you wish. go. Now I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to put some slits in this pie because I don't want it to overflow on the actual pie plate. Give it some room to expand in there and bubble up. Make sure they're open. I'm going to add uh, my beaten egg white. Egg, egg, whole egg. I said egg white. It's not an egg white. And I am going to put this on a baking sheet, just in case. I'm not going to do the crust, the actual fluting, because that's usually what burns. And sprinkle that on top. And I'll see you back when this gets done. I can't give you specific times, but we know it'll be in 50 or 60 minutes. So I'll see you then. Hey y'all, I'm back. It took this pie, and I'm not kidding, 75 minutes um, in my oven. And I gauged my oven last week, but I did. I also had done something differently to it. I bought some of that sheet silicone that goes on the bottom rack of your oven and it keeps any spillage from going actually onto the oven floor. I think it messed up the gauge in my oven because nothing has cooked right since. And I cut a piece that was the exact size of my oven rack. So now what I'm going to do is take it out and cut it so it's two or three inches in all the way around, probably three inches, so that the heat can circulate. Hot air rises, but if it's got something in the way, it's stuck. Well, I already ate a piece of this pie, but Sam is here, and... That's that hundred-year-old crust recipe, in it? Well... It? It, it is, but I have to tell y'all, this is the worst crust I have ever made in my life. I will never make it in a food prompt, in a mixer again. Never. And and I it probably totally my fault. I don't know what I did wrong. The the pie, the fruit is delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can you all see that? The fruit is delicious. I believe you hit the bullseye on that. 
You know, Linda's taste buds have been a little off lately. Y'all. This crust is probably delicious. It is not. thought I was going to have to get a saw to get through it. Well, let me see. I'm telling them the truth. Tell it, sister, tell it. Mm. <laughs> I love this combination of the apples and the tart cherries and the taste and the crust tastes absolutely delicious to me. Well there's something wrong with your taste buds. Well I'm glad. <laughs> because, yeah, I think you hit the bullseye right here. Y'all look. Can you see that? Let me get you up here. A flaky pie crust would break. I'm telling you, that's why I used a knife. Because you cannot get through. Look at that. It's horrible. It's like a big old chunk of cooked dough. Give me that. You can have it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I tell you what. Y'all, most of you know I'm a diabetic. But if this right here killed me, I'd be like that song, where I'd die a happy man, <laughs> I swear I would. It's absolutely delicious. Now, Linda's good at cooking, great at cooking, but she's not a professional eater like I am. But y'all be the judge. Um, what? Maybe they could make their crust a little different if they wanted to. I don't know what you Well, did. there's several crust recipes on the channel guys. but I'm good. telling you don't use this one that's my opinion do not use this one and that um uh, but the tart cherries and the sweet apples great combination okay very juicy not dry but not too juicy not running here's something else y'all I, I use two tablespoons of flour mixed in with the sugar. I, by the way, this is made with Splenda. It, I, it should have used, I should have used three tablespoons because you see it's still runny and I've let it cool. But boy, what a shock when I tried to cut it. Mm -mm. Well, thank you guys for mm. coming in today and spending part of your day with me. Some of your day. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you want to try this pie. I don't advise the uh, I don't advise you to try the crust in a in a um, mixer. But you know, there's probably a lot of people who have good look, good results. I didn't. I'll never do it again. Thank you for coming in. Until next time, you take care and God bless.